All right, ladies and gentlemen, hey, 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 it is Thursday night on the best gospel praise talk show in America. Hey, I'm your host tonight, Minister Ackridge, and we just so excited because God is good. Amen. We thank God for waking us up this morning. We thank God for bringing us into a new day. Amen. Look at what he did today. He covered us all day long. He provided for us today. Amen. If you if you made it home and you're listening to the show, look how he done watched over you while you driving down these dangerous highways. Amen. We thank God. We give all the honor and the glory to him. Without him, we are nothing. We can't do it by ourselves because every time we try to do things, we mess up at times. But if we give things to God, the things that we can't handle, the things that we can't change, if we give it to God, God will take care of it and make it smooth and make it smooth like a Cadillac riding down a highway on cruise control. We thank you, praise God. Amen. Hey, if you want to call up the show, amen, 919 919- Five two one four seven four one. Again, that number is nine one nine five two one four seven four one. And if you need pray prayer, if you need prayer, hit us up on the line. Amen. The prayer line number is nine one nine five two six four nine one six. Or you can email Minister Acres Show at gmail.com. And I want you just to stay tuned. We will coming up with the weather shortly, and we'll be right back. Christ, my main man, takes my hand, says, son, I'm here, there's no need to fear, just praise, cause it's a weapon, when we lift up the name of Jesus, demons gotta start stepping up out of this place, building myself up in my most holy faith, proclaiming mercy and grace, which kept me alive, when it comes to living water, I die, you just don't understand, praise is how I survive, to my flesh, I gotta die, looking up to the sky, let's praise the name of the most high, usher in his presence to get some blessing, I'm sick and tired of all the stress and everything that have breath praise his name gotta maintain through the rain lord i gotta praise you lord i need to praise you i gotta praise you i need to praise you i love to praise you amen amen i love to praise you amen Hey, we thank and praise God for a new day. We thank God for you listeners out out there all over the world, amen, and also in the country and in the local community. We thank and praise God for you, and we're going to continue to let you know that God is good and God loves you, amen, my brothers and sisters, amen. But God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You don't have to continue to live the way you live. You don't have to continue to wonder what's going to happen. If you give yourself to God, amen, he's going to order your footsteps. He's going to direct your path, amen. We thank God for just mercy, amen. Look look at the things that we've done over our life. We have not been perfect. We have made some mistakes. We might continue to make mistakes, but, but with him, amen, we know that if we make a mistake, that he's going to show us our mistake, and with him, amen, he can correct it through us, amen, and gives us an opportunity opportunity to get it right and we thank God for Jesus amen we thank God for his only begotten son the one that died on on Calvary's cross but we thank God for rising him up amen raising him from the dead amen with Jesus having all power in his hand amen God is so good look at him look at him amen well the weather forecast real quickly amen we're looking at tonight uh today actually was a high of 78 with a low tonight of 60 Friday mostly cloudy light rain high of 80 degrees with a low of 63. Saturday, light rain, high of 80 with a low of 63. Sunday, chance of thunderstorm, high of 82 with a low of 65. Partly cloudy for Monday, high of 85 with a low of 68. And Tuesday, chance of thunderstorm, high of 88 degrees with a low of 62. And that's your seven day forecast. Amen. That's the weather tonight, tonight for you because next week is heating up. 
It's heating up, ladies and gentlemen. It's been cool. I love the cool weather, but it's heating up. And we're going to continue with the show tonight. Actually, I got a question tonight for you listeners. The question tonight is, as I asked last night, uh, why have America turned away from God? This is one of the questions that, you know, some people have. And, you know, we want to know. You know, why have America? And we want to hear from you. Hit us up on the line, 919-521-4741. Or if you're listening to me live, send me an instant message. Just hit the instant message button. Amen. You can send me an instant message about the question tonight. Why have America turned away from God? Amen. We see it all over the country. Amen. People just turned away. But we're going to continue the show. We're listening to uh, Giving God the Glory. Amen. Giving God the Praise. Amen. Uh, by Crystal Cofield Davis. I feel like giving God the glory. Amen. On the TMA radio show. Giving God the glory. has been so good to me every time I look around I look at how much God has blessed me every time I turn around he continues to bless us amen 
Hey, we got some local events coming up. Amen. We thank and praise God for people working. Amen. Amen. In the Franklin County area, if you're in the area, amen, if you're listening to me tonight, amen, mark your calendars tonight, amen, because we're going to be doing some things in the community. People got stuff going on, so you don't have to be bored at home. You can go someplace and be in power, amen, to stand, to make a difference, amen. So we want to let you know that right now, uh, Divine Women Heart to Heart Retreat, amen, it's ministering, amen, to the scars of women, and no more baggage, amen, I've, I've talked about that, amen, on previous shows, no more baggage, I love that, Minister, ministering to the scars of women, amen, no more baggage, Saturday, May the 16th, from 10 a.m., amen, to 3 p.m., at the Usher's Building, 4 4221 US 1 Highway, amen. Franklinton, North Carolina, 27525, amen. Sponsored by Coletta Davis, featuring panelists, prayer, fashion show, and pampering session, amen. Health and wellness. That is what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, if you need information, please call Coletta, Coletta Amen Davis to register or for more information at 919. 919- Two three nine zero three six nine, or you can email her at divine women retreat at yahoo.com. Again, her number is nine one nine two three nine zero three six nine, or email divine women retreat at yahoo.com. And also featuring there will be covenant purity ring. Amen. Is, a, is excited, amen. They're very excited to have a presence at this Divine Women Heart to Heart Retreat, which is going to get, again be in hell Saturday, amen, May the 16th, mark your calendar, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the U, uh, Usher's Building, 4221 U.S. Highway 1, Franklinton, North Carolina, 27525. Now, if you're listening to me, I need you to mention that you heard about what's going on with this women heart to heart retreat. Amen. Let them know. Let them know there at the Covenant Purity Ring booth that you heard it on the show and you sign your name up to be entered into a drawing for a free T-shirt. Amen. Covenant Covenant Purity Ring. Look forward to seeing you there. Amen. Let me tell you what women. You know, we got a lot of women that are struggling, they in bad relationships. They they going through and don't know which way to go. They want to leave. They don't want to they don't know how to leave. Amen. They 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 uh, they've been so depressed. They they they've been so scarred down and to the point that that they don't know how to get strength. I believe that God is going to move in a mighty way and we want you to go there. Amen. And if you need more information, amen. Don't forget you can email the uh, young the sister, amen, at Divine Women Retreat at yahoo.com or call her up 919 239 0369. And we're going to continue with the best gospel praise talk show in America, the TMA radio show.
Amen, amen. He's here right now. Tonight broadcast brought to you by Amara Gift Shop. They're located 8 South Main Street in Franklin, North Carolina. And Heavenly Sense Products, the best natural products on the market. Email smellingyourbest at yahoo.com for Heavenly Sense Products. Primitz Barbershop, located 6 South Main Street, Frankerton, North Carolina. You need a haircut, go to Primitz Barbershop. They will take care of your haircut needs. Yo, these streets is watching and they need no binoculars to see imposters. The streets need gospel. In faith, we're blind, sick, possessed, and dead rise. And mass murder does nothing for the paralyzed. But yo, his army is different. It transforms lives. So first the lame walk and then the lame ride. And when the lame talk, that's when his name fly. Even in places where it's illegal to say God. You listening to the TMA Radio Show. Every verse. This is for that eight year old who goes home to the favela, singing songs under his breath. A cappella, that preteen weeps on the streets of Boston. This the price the crocodile tears look costed. Nails in a back that was shredded like a cheese grater. These lines bring heat like the equator. And in the street, we ain't fighting what we see, player. Wrestle the air condition, AC Slater. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Change, 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 change. From Angola to South Beach, big like Lebowski, gonna fly us home on a window or a aisle seat. Lift two arms to the place where the clouds be, even if you eating from where Oscar the Grouch be. The good news is he's coming real soon, and if your stomach aches, then he's coming with food. And if your heart breaks, then he's coming with tools. And if you have faith, then he's coming for you. you. Yeah, he's coming for you. And if your life's gray, then he's coming with hues. Rose from the grave for these colorblind fools. Poured out his red and it covered our blues. And here's some more good news. That the situation changes when your mind renews. Here's the time to choose. Red or the blue. Win or the lose. Awake or the snooze. The street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy. The streets be gospel. Hey, we want to be in prayer, amen, for the young... Young man, amen, that lost his life. Uh, we don't know the situation, the details. Uh, there was a young, young 18 year old uh, shot and killed by police um, after a chase. Um, but I want to know the question. I want to ask the question why do we, why do we continue to, uh, to say that an 18 year old is a man? That's my question. Why do we keep saying that an 18 year old male is a man? Uh, just you just they look at that just one year from 17 year old they're calling this 18 year old a man uh, anyone that they, they from down history I don't know why because you know we don't really mature until we get into 21 22 as we know that uh, it's been studied that women mature faster and younger age than than males uh, and so you know again 18 year old he just turned uh, just just 18 you know so you just think back one year he was 17 years old oh I mean that that's not a man you know granted when he's 21 amen I feel like that's a young man that should be considered a young man but 18 18 year old is just what it is 18 is a teen 19 is a teen so we need to be calling them teens and not men because they are not, because they have not matured and grown into manhood, they they are starting, but it, it, they they have not become, uh, uh you know, it, it's it's just, it's just we shouldn't be doing that, you know. But we our prayers go out to the uh, David William Johnson family uh, out of Raleigh, and we're gonna be praying for the officers, you know, because we gotta pray for, we gotta pray for everyone. So we're gonna be in prayer for those, uh, those people, Amen. And we know that God is able to heal, Amen. We, we know that we pray that, you know, um, we don't know why the young man, as the, the news reported, had the gun. And I don't know if he was pointing the gun at him or didn't drop the gun. But 
even with that, I think that the police officers sometimes, I, I don't know, I'm not there, but I feel like sometimes they are trained, they should be trained enough to to uh, maybe shoot the injured, you know, or shoot in the leg, because, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, that saving a life is more important uh, than, than we're just going out and just killing killing people. I think that we can, you know, go to, go through due process, you know, and, and, you know, I just think that that's where you should be. That's just me. I, I, I'm just saying. But, uh, hey, we got a few more minutes, amen, on the show, amen. And uh, also, I want to let you know that Thursday night is always the end of the week for the TMA Radio Show. We start back up on Sunday, amen, between the hours of 7 and 8 p.m. on Sunday. So we want you to be inviting to other people to listen to the show. And uh, if you do have events and things you want to share, amen, with the, with the community, Hey man, we are listening. Uh, also needing list par- listening partners, so you can email ministeraccuratesshow at gmail dot com for more information about that. And right now, we're going to be listening to Tamala Man Best Days on the TMA Radio Show. God gave me a he told me that. Predestined me for greatness. He gave me victory. Though every day may not have sunshine, those seasons change and will be alright. Daily I'm making confession. My faith on the
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be coming up shortly with Eric Thomas to encourage you that you're going to make it. You can be what you want to be. Amen. We thank you for listening to the Gospel Praise Show, the best in America and in the land. Amen. The TMA Radio Show. Amen. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. Give somebody a hug. Let them know you love them. Until Sunday night, be blessed and be safe. I'm telling you, you can make whatever kind of money you want to make. You can have whatever you want to have. You can do whatever you want to do. Like, there are no limitations. And aren't you tired? There's some of y'all out there right now. You're tired. You know, somebody telling you when to come to work. Somebody telling you when to take lunch. Somebody telling you when to do a vacation. Somebody telling you what you can and cannot do. Some of us, we were born to fly. But what I'm telling you is when you become the right person, what I mean by the right person is once you identify who you are and you begin to separate yourself from the masses and you begin to see your individuality when you begin to see your talents when you begin to see your personal skills all right it's like this if you ever wore a suit from the store before that's one thing but if you ever got a suit tailored are you hearing what I'm saying? If you ever got a tailored suit before, you know that it's different from going to buy a one-size-fits-all suit and then having a suit that's tailor-made. It fit different. The pants are different. The way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it's fit to you. And what I'm telling you is you need to have a tailor-made life. When you were created, you were created with a specific purpose, a specific design. I don't care if you was born and, you know, your parents didn't claim you. You're still special. I don't care if you your mama went in your life, your daddy went in your life, you are still special. When you were created, you were designed to do what nobody else can do. And I'm telling you, when you become the right person, when you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. So I'm challenging you, number one, number one, I'm telling you to define your value, right? Number Number two, I challenge you, listen to me, if you want to make more money, if you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. That's right, invest what? Number one, I'm asking you to invest time. I'm asking you to invest time in yourself. Some of y'all, you spend so much time with other people, you spend so much time trying to get people to like you, you spend so much time trying to fit in that you don't even know who you are. You know other people more than you know yourself. You studied them, you know about them, you want to hang out like them, you want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. I challenge you to take yourself out. There's some young ladies right now, you fine, you pretty, you got it going on, some brothers, you handsome, you suave, you got swag, but you know what your problem is? You, you, you've been in one relationship after another relationship, and you ain't never been in a good relationship because you don't even know you. You spend so much time taking her out, you spend so much time trying to impress him, you spend so much time buying her flowers, taking her out to lunch, you spend so much time calling him, you don't even know who you are. You heard what I said. You've invested so much of your time in being liked by other people, being loved by other people, being appreciated by other people, that you don't even know who you are. And I challenge you to invest time in your own self. I challenge you to get to a place when people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. E.T., I don't like the fact that you do this. I don't care. I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me. 